It's Tuesday, April 28th, and here's some of the news beyond the headlines. Protests are escalating in Burundi following the president's decision to run for re-election. Police have fired tear gas and water cannons to disperse thousands in the capital, Bujumbura. The tension in recent days has driven some 20,000 people to flee to neighbouring Rwanda. Burundi's president, Pierre Nkurunziza, has threatened trouble for any challenges to his government. The controversial travel plans of ultra-nationalist Russian bikers have gone up in smoke. On Monday, Polish border guards stopped 10 members of the Night Wolves Club from entering the country. The group set out from Moscow to Berlin to commemorate the Soviet victory that helped end World War II. The Russian government says the decision to refuse the men entry is politically motivated. The US has imposed sanctions on the club for its alleged involvement in Russia's annexation of Crimea, as well as for its recruitment of separatist fighters in eastern Ukraine. Hundreds of African migrants trying to reach the European continent are complaining of mistreatment at detention centres in western Libya. The migrants say that after fleeing harsh conditions at home, they're now beaten, treated like slaves and not adequately fed. We have nowhere to go to. We need your help. Help us to live. To, to live. We need your help. Help us to get out of this place, please, before we die here. Many have fallen ill and say diseases like hepatitis and HIV are spreading amongst them. A freak storm has left at least 45 people dead in northwest Pakistan. Winds of more than 75 miles an hour ripped through buildings, down trees and electric poles. Several hundred people were wounded and the military was called in to bolster rescue efforts. Local meteorologists say the region had never experienced a storm of that kind before. Check out the Vice News YouTube channel for more original reporting and documentaries from around the world. И мы считаем, что для многих из молодых людей таким образом отцовского начала, образом отцовского поведения стал именно Владимир Путин, с которого они берут пример и поступают иногда в жизненных ситуациях так, как сделал бы он. Для нас, конечно, важен Путин и как человек, и не как человек.